Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist, and I've been asked the question, why should we focus on people-centeredness for information and communications technologies, or ICT for short? Computers are probably the most powerful tools ever invented. They're adaptable. They can do basically anything that you can figure out how to program. They're versatile. We use them in so many different ways that now it's very common to hear phrases like computational linguistics, computational physics, computational astronomy, uh, computational biology, and uh, computa uh, computational everything. That just illustrates how deeply information and communications technology has penetrated into our societies. And of course, the Internet and the World Wide Web that sits on top of the Internet uh, has also penetrated very deeply into much of our world today. About half, maybe a little over half the world's population is able to get access to the Internet, but the other half still doesn't have access to it for a variety of different reasons. It could be cost, it could be availability, it could be reliability, it could be capacity, uh, it could be the uh, availability of devices that uh, can take advantage of that communications system. There are a variety of barriers that get in the way. Interestingly, when the internet was being designed, one of the whole objectives was to reduce the barriers to get access to information and to com computational capacity uh, to uh, help people discover information, make use of it, and share it. In fact, the design was done in a very open, largely academic environment funded by the American Defense Department initially, and then other government agencies in the U.S., and of course it's spread around the world. Other governments have been supporting uh, Internet in the academic and research sector, and of course since 1989 the Internet has been available as a commercial service as well. That's the economic engine that drives its utility. But speaking of utility, the only thing that makes the Internet useful is if it focuses on beneficial services to users who need information, who need the ability to process that information, to make use of it, to operate a business, to uh, stay in touch with their friends, to be entertained, to use as a tool for discovery. Uh, think about some of the dramatic things that have happened with machine learning over the last decade or so. All of this should tell you that in order to make information and communications technology useful, you have to focus on the ways in which it's going to be used by people. And I can't think of a more important illustration of that than accessibility, speaking of people who have disabilities and whose access to information and communications technology is often impeded by the failure of these uh, implementations to take account of accommodation that might be needed in order to make something usable even if you're uh, not sighted or usable even if you can't hear or usable even if you have motor impairment or usable even if you have cognitive impairments. So user centricity, people centricity, has to be one of the primary guiding lights of the development of information and communications technology, otherwise it won't be useful. And so this is the challenge that lies before us. This infinitely malleable tool needs insight in order to be made useful for everyone on many different dimensions. And so I now leave it to you, and many of you who will have creative ideas for solving this problem, to make serious advances in the adaptation of information and communications technology for people's needs all around the world. Sorry I can't see you in person, but perhaps we'll meet on the net.